Hey guys, my name's Dale, and welcome to Minute Fact Monday, where I take a minute or two to discuss interesting topics. So, let's learn something. I absolutely love spicy food, and even though it's not a flavor like sweetness or saltiness, a little bit of spice can improve almost any food. Except for ice cream. Ugh. Now, of course, there are plenty of people who do not like spicy food because they don't enjoy the uncomfortable burning sensation. I guess that kind of makes sense. But truth be told, the spicy sensation is actually an illusion, a chemically induced illusion. Now there are two compounds that are evolved in different foods which influence the different ways you can experience spiciness. The first compound is alkalamide. It's a heavier chemical that tends to be the most intense in the mouth and lip region. Some examples being black pepper, chili peppers, and ginger. The second compound is isothiocyanates. They are lighter chemicals that tend to be more intense in the nose and sinus regions. Some examples being horseradish, wasabi, and ginseng. Both act as neurotransmitters, interacting with what is known as VR1 receptors. These receptors activate themselves once they are exposed to temperatures above 42 degrees Celsius or 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Depending on how hot it is, they will deform themselves, releasing ions within the nervous system. So as you could have guessed, spicy food has gone on to mimic burning by deforming receptors. The more the receptor is able to be deformed, the more ions it releases, the spicier the food will feel. Pretty clever. And being that VR1 receptors are all over your body, you are able to feel the burn of both spicy food or spicy sprays and temperature anywhere. And this is why pepper spray is effective. Now what's interesting and the takeaway is that literally no damage is being done to your body by the spicy sensation. The chemicals themselves are harmless and the only true danger is what your body inflicts upon itself. This is why people with congenital anaglesia, the inability to feel pain, are absolutely unaffected in any way by spicy food or spicy sprays. Because no damage is technically being done. Beyond that, scientific research has shown that people who are not bothered by spicy food don't experience less pain, but instead experience much more tolerance towards being able to deal with spiciness. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Minute Fact Monday. My question for you guys is, do you like spicy food, and if so, so what's your favorite spicy food? And with all that said and done, my name's Dale, this is Think Fact, and remember, never stop learning. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. And feel free to check out some of my more in-depth videos where I take more time to discuss interesting topics.